there's a post you made about couples and this is the probably the big one couples keeping their finances as one as opposed to separate and you said keeping them what did you say you said keeping them separate is tantamount to uh sleeping in separate beds at night yes 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 okay explain that to me because my wife and i we kind of have separate finances we have our own bank accounts but so i was like okay Mm -hmm. Offend me, yeah. Sherman. Tell me how I'm doing <laughs> it wrong, buddy. All right. All right. Here we go. So now, here's the thing. I just feel like when you get married, right? When you get married. And anyone not married, I'm not talking to people that aren't married because whatever. I'm, I'm just not. But once you get married, two become one, right? We do, as you know, things can get weird in marriage. We do everything together. But to me, it's like, how can we keep separate finances when we're married? Because I feel that I strongly feel that finances, when we combine them, they re- it requires us to take our communication to an entirely new level. Because it, now it's no longer like, hey, I'm going to buy this. Like, I know that I have the money. Like, it's not about that. It's like, hey, honey, do you think we should spend our money on this? And it just requires another level because... Sometimes your wife wants to do stuff. You're like, like we don't even need that. Okay, we got to talk about that. Or sometimes I want to do stuff. My wife's like, like that's dumb. Why would we do that? Okay, we got to talk about that. And when you don't have that type of communication, financially, there's certain things that just don't happen long term. Because me, let's say, like for instance, my wife, she's a stay-at-home mom. Like she decided to, at least for now, she gave up her career to take care of our kids. Right. Now, my wife, she's always made more money than me uh, before she stopped working. So for me, I'm like, hey, I see that sacrifice. So I'm not going to bring money in this house and be like, oh, it's my money because I work. She could easily be out there working and making just as much money as me. So when I see that, I'm just like, what, like, what sort of the issue? Like, why, you know, why don't you want to add those finances? Do you not want that level of accountability or anything like that? Now, I'm not saying that everything can go into one pot and then, hey, honey, you get X amount to spend per month on whatever you want. Like, that's totally fine. But I'm just saying everything has to go in the same pot because we need to be working towards the same goal. We need, hey, honey, we want to have $10 million by the time we're 60 years old. So we need to be talking about that at least every month. Okay, 